All right, everybody. Myth number one, you can spin dash underwater in Sonic Frontiers. All right, first, we got to find the water. By the way, guys, I'm loving update too. I'm loving that spin dash. Look at that. All right, um, we're underwater. Oh my God, we're in like mud water right now. What kind of water is this, bro? Oh my goodness, someone needs to clean this water up. Let's go to let's go to cleaner water. All right, whatever. All right, so here we go. We are underwater and we are charging up a spin dash. I'm in literal mud water, but I guess it still works. All right, guys, looks like the spin dash does work underwater. So myth number one has been proven to be true. Let's move on to the next one. All right, myth number two, you can spin dash inside of the water enemy in Arano's Island. Let's go test it out. Okay. Let's go. All right, we are on Aranos. Oh my God, look at that spin dash. I love this damn spin dash. Oh, there we go. There's the water enemy. Okay, so normally you see how you can jump in this enemy. Now let's see if we hold LT. Can we spin dash? Can we spin dash? Let's see. I'm holding LT. I'm holding LT and it seems like nothing is happening, but you know what's gonna happen. All right, can I crouch? It seems like I'm about to drown. No, don't drown. Don't, no, please. No, no, he's drowning. Oh no, he's, he's drowned. He's drowned. Oh my God. Myth number two, you can spin dash inside of the water enemy is false let's move on to the next myth all right myth number three you can side loop while spin dashing well this shouldn't be too hard to figure out and hopefully you guys have been enjoying update two i don't know i think this update really changed the game with sonic frontiers so let's go i mean let's get into our little spin dash right now ready let's charge it up ready Boom. and wow it looks like while maintaining a spin dash you can still side loop it looks like there's no reason to really ever let go of the actual spin dash button so myth number three is true you can side loop while spin dashing let's move on to the next one hopefully you guys have been enjoying episode six of the sonic frontiers mythbuster videos i've been doing so guys before we move on to myth number four please subscribe to the channel right now i'll give you a second to do that and hopefully you turn on notifications so you never miss a Sonic video ever again and hit the thumbs up button. But let's move on to myth number four. Myth number four, you can use the spin dash to skip all of Cyberspace 1-7 instead of the magnet dash. Let's go test it out. All right, here we go. Cyberspace 1-7, a fan favorite, obviously because this is City Escape. So let's see, uh, let's see how this spin dash works, man. Let's see what it's really all about in Cyberspace. I haven't really used it too much. So here we go. Ready? Oh God, hello. Hello. Oh my God, look how far we're going. And oh, oh. And then we can go. Oh, 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 oh my god, I just died. No. All right, let's try this again. Oh my goodness. All right, the spin dash is going to send us flying. In addition to this sending us flying, we're probably going to have to use our momentum settings as well. I had the momentum turned up all the way, but guys, it looks like that myth, myth number four, is true. You can skip all of Cyberspace 1 7 with using the spin dash instead of the magnet dash. Let's move on to the next one. All right, here's an interesting one. Myth number five there is no classic Eggman in Sonic Frontiers. So you guys all know classic Eggman. He had his first. First, like true appearance in 3d with like this 3d model you guys know what i'm talking about in sonic generations and apparently he may or may not be in sonic frontier so why don't we go put this one to the test so we are on aries island with the new birthday decorations and we're gonna try to find this classic eggman who apparently may or may not exist i don't know guys listen you guys are gonna have to tell me so oh my god wait that was really quick oh my god i already found him so guys Classic Eggman is in the game in the form of a whatever this thing is. What what ex, what is this actually called? Like, what is this supposed to be? This is so random, but guys, it looks like myth number five. Boom! We just beat him up. Myth number five, there is no classic Eggman in Sonic Frontiers is actually false. Let's move on to myth number six. Myth number six, you can use the spin dash to climb towers in Sonic Frontiers. So you guys see the towers. This is one of the first things that was ever shown off at any Sonic Frontiers gameplay. I don't know if you guys remember that IGN gameplay where we got to do a little bit of this in basically slow motion. But you guys know that you can run on these walls. Even better, you can kind of boost onto them and run up the walls as well. Let's put it to the test and see if you can spin dash up this tower. Here we go. We're spin dashing. We're going up. Oh, okay. That wasn't good. All right. Let's try this again. Here we go. Ready? Boom. Okay. All right. I don't know why he's not going off. All right. Let's just do this the regular way. So here we go. We're going to do a little spin dash. We're going to actually charge it up. I know a lot of people haven't been doing this, but let's charge it up. You know what I mean? Ready? Nope. Oh, and it goes straight into a climb. So let's see. And you also can't spin dash uh, while you're using the running animation. So it looks like myth number six is false. You cannot spin dash off the tower. Let's move on to myth number seven. Myth number seven, you can pop the balloons that appear in the open zone in Sonic Frontiers. One of the coolest parts of the update was seeing all these giant balloons around the map. You guys see them. This is, uh, it's interesting. There's no popping with these balloons, huh? Okay, anyways. So let's see if we can reach out to one of these things and see if we can pop 
them. Ready? Here, oh, God. God. Hello. Ready? Oh, God. Here we go. We're going out and boom. Oh, oh, we just... All right, there's no collision. Oh, my God. We're going to have to get creative here, fellas. We're going to have to get creative. Ready? Let's, let's go up this ramp. Oh, my God. We're dead. Oh, even better. Even better. Here we go. Let's do a little hedgehog space program. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Hedgehog space program. All right, we're up. We are up in the air. Now, let's see. Oh, God. I just... Oh, my God. I'm spin dashing. Hello. Can I stop it? Can I cancel it? Oh, you can cancel it. You can cancel it. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. We are in the air. We're flying around. I want to find that balloon, man. Let me find that balloon. Let me find that balloon. I see the balloon. Can we get onto it? Can we get onto it? Should we spin dash through it? Ready? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Boop, boop, boop. Oh, there's no collision. We can't pop the balloons. Myth number seven, you can pop the balloons in Sonic Frontiers is false. Let's move on to myth number eight. All right. Myth number eight. The new roll ability has proper momentum. So as you guys know, the spin dash was added into Sonic Frontiers, but we have a new ability, which is kind of like the pre-spin dash. And we had to come to our trusty spot in Aranos Island where we test out momentum and things like that and just see. We just want to see. All we want to see is if there's true momentum with it because it is a roll and we are playing Sonic. So here we go. All right. He's rolling. I have no hands on the controller. Actually, wait. All right, all right. I'm not touching the controller. Let's see. Come on. Let's see what happens. Hello. Is he going down? Can he go down? I'm actually touching the controller. I'm not going to lie. I'm touching it. All right. Let's just, let's just see. All right. Let's let go of the controller and let's see if he rolls. Does he roll? I mean, he's rolling, but I think you have to press forward on it and he's not even going that fast even okay there we go there we go how fast can he go i have to you have to push forward on it um yeah i, I don't know about this i don't think this has really true momentum this is how we're gonna put it to the test i'll show you guys all right so we are in cyberspace one two let's check out that spin dash Ooh, the spin dash works nicely in cyberspace in the 2d sections wow this is actually pretty fun i actually happen to like the 2d sections of cyberspace i'm not gonna lie look at that bounce and i love that air boost so yeah i actually do like cyberspace i have a whole uh a whole reason to like it but let's test out and see if this new roll ability has the proper rolling physics because that's what i thought but we're gonna have to see find me a hill though where are the hills at oh my god hello let me know if you guys like cyberspace by the way i know it's very divisive most people don't like it but like i said i'm just i'm just a fan bro i'm just a fan it's fun to use that spin dash you know oh see you see how i was able to just like go backwards in midair even though i messed up all right here we go here we go this is perfect this is actually perfect all right let's get down and let's roll let's roll and oh Oh my god he's rolling up the hill wait does he go fast when he goes down yeah there's oh look at that there's okay oh the jank is still there man the sonic frontiers jank is undefeated so guys it looks like myth number eight there are proper rolling physics for the new roll ability is actually false so let's move on to myth number nine myth number nine there is a secret skin in sonic frontiers when you 100 percent the game so sonic frontiers has a lot of objectives in it there's a lot of puzzles to complete around the map there's a bunch of cyberspace stages to get s ranks in you got to get the emeralds you got to beat the story you got to do all these new challenges but if you 100 percent all these challenges get all the memory tokens do all the platforming challenges get all the cocos do all the objectives there is a brand new skin when you 100 percent this game this is the skin that you will get you will get sonic with a king's crown and i gotta say this is actually a very fitting and awesome skin to cap off a really good dlc update so myth number Number nine, there is a secret skin for 100%ing the game is actually true. You get the King Crown Sonic, and I think it's definitely worth it because the new update is extremely fun. I mean, just look how much more fun they made this game with all the momentum physics and stuff like that. Truly, I think Sonic Frontiers actually is an S tier game now. As far as the 3D Sonic game, it may be the best. Like, if you really put the whole package together, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really high on this game. So, absolutely love it, but let's move on to myth number 10. All right, myth number 10 Sonic Sword from Sonic and the Black Knight is now in Sonic Frontiers. Come on, you guys remember Sonic's snarky little sword from Sonic and the Black Knight? Look at that sword right there. So cool. It should totally remaster this game, by the way. I just love the characterization for Sonic in this game. It's so good. But yeah, so the sword caliber is apparently in Sonic Frontiers. So why don't we go put this to the test? So we are on Arano's Island. Here we go. We got a platform a little bit. Oh yeah, here we go. I already got that spin dash. I can I can do something cool. You know, oh, oh, hello, hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. Yeah, I love the, uh, the Coco challenges are really good. I mean, this just brings more variety more platforming to the game that's it just makes this game just it really like it just evolves the open world that open world open zone is just different now you know what i mean like look, like look at this oh my goodness all right where do we go next where do we go next we're going up it just never ends bro they just made this game so much better dude like they just turned it into the s tier sonic game but guys look
look. Would you guys look right there? If you look at this Coco right here, what does he have on his back? That is Caliburn. Oh my God. Is he doing a little spin cycle? That is Caliburn from Sonic and the Black Knight. There's a Caliburn Coco. Oh wait, do you guys see him right there? You guys zoom in real quick. Oh yeah, that's him right there. So myth number 11, Caliburn from Sonic and the Black Knight is in Sonic Frontiers. That has been proven to be true. Let's move on to myth number 12. Here's the next myth. The spin dash has momentum. So as you guys know, the biggest highlight of this update is the spin dash. And if you look right here, look at that. Oh my God, it is flying off the freaking ramp. Look at that. What a crazy, what a crazy trick right there. But does this actually have momentum? Well, we're going to have to do a little bit of a deeper dive. So if you look right here, we're kind of spin dashing. And as you see, our speedometer does go up when we're going down a hill. And it does, oh, look at that. We're flying in the air. But, and it does kind of go a little bit slower when you're going up. But is this true momentum? Well, let's see. So we're going around here and look at that. We're going slow. We're going slow. And it kind of like boosts on its own. I would almost consider this something like a spin boost, right? Like, I don't think it's actual proper momentum because he's just like gaining speed out of nowhere. So I would say this isn't quite a spin dash, although it's really fun and really cool to use. And there's a lot of tech that I'll explain later in the video, but it doesn't seem like this is true momentum. But what exactly is this little jump that he does? Because it kind of feels like momentum, right? Like when you're going off of this ramp right here, like look at this, that feels like momentum. Regardless, it feels good to play, right? Like it feels good. But according to this tweet from a modder in the Sonic community named Proto underscore Arts, so he says, that so the way the spin boost jump works is that it has a timer that disables gravity for 0.35 seconds when it goes airborne so in this video you can see what exactly he did he removed this timer that disables gravity for like the fraction of a second and set it to two minutes now if you look at his video right here he is absolutely just like flying in the air so this is actually how the spin boost momentum works it's not really proper and true momentum it has its own values and really what it does is in that moment, it just disables gravity temporarily. So if you look, you know what I mean? Like it's not true momentum. Like I said, there's some type of speed value that increases when you go down a hill. But also if you stop the momentum, look, like it stops right here and like, look right here, it kind of stops a little bit. Let's see, it stops, but then it like just randomly can pick up speed and you never have to reactivate the spin dash. So like I said, more of a spin boost and that's how it works. And it looks like that myth, the spin dash has true momentum is false. Let's move on to the next one. Here's a next myth the spin dash can transition into an air launch as you guys know air launching is the best feature that sonic frontiers really ever did like when this game first came out rail launching and air launching or trick launching rather like this look at all those tricks my boy is doing look at all those tricks that was one of the best features that the game ever implemented so apparently this myth says that the spin dash can trigger an air trick launch so let's test it out we're gonna go into the spin dash all right here we go here we go we're going we're going and we're gonna hold over the boost button and we are going to do tricks so you can actually spin dash out of a trick launch and let me explain how this tech works so if you're just doing a straight up spin dash launch look right here it's not going to go straight into tricks look he's running what you have to do for this tech to work is go off the ramp now you're holding lt switch to rt and now you can do a trick launch out of the spin boost so this is going to be a very useful tactic for people who will be speed running next game plus i know i will be i'll be streaming it this week like i said make sure to subscribe turn on notice so you guys watch every single video but it looks like this myth has been proven to be true you can spin boost and then launch into a trick launch let's move on to the next one and by the way i found another way to showcase this momentum look at this ready look just to show that the spin dash doesn't have like true momentum look at that see how it like stops and goes forward so yeah like i said no momentum for the spin dash or at least a very different value for it here is the next myth there are secret coco and a secret area to explore on chronos island so we are on chronos island back in the beginning and if you guys remember i don't know if you guys remember the video game donkey review where he like was just so critical of the fact that you couldn't go to places where the game didn't want you to go we all remember that review sonic fans are literally so sad about that and honestly it was just so uncalled for but if you go on chronos if you look so this area right here is inaccessible right you can't get up top to this part of chronos island but if you use the spin dash you can actually go up here let me explain to you guys so look all you guys have to do is spin dash and go off this ramp and boom we made it up top now this area that was pre 
previously inaccessible, you can now explore. And look, there's five secret cocoa up here, which even though it's an inaccessible area, you can now get up here. That's interesting. And if you go even further, take it one step further, you can actually explore this area right here. This was previously inaccessible. I believe you could only get up here using mods, but you have these random pillars, which I wonder what these mean or what exactly these are here for. Or maybe this was in like a trailer of Sonic Frontiers. I don't remember. This, this feels oddly familiar though, this little area. And you can actually come up here and explore by using the beautiful and amazing spin dash. I wonder how far we can go. Can we go to this flower field? Oh my God, we have the flower field over here as well. I believe this is the area that you go to when you want to do the bridge skip. If you're a speedrunner, you know what I'm talking about. The bridge skip, you uh, go up there, you skip Cyberspace 1, 2. It's a pretty crazy skip, but you guys get the gist. This myth has been proven. Oh my God, what the? The jank, the jank is back. This myth has been proven. Oh my God, what is going? Hello, what? I think I broke the game. This myth has been proven to be true. Let's move on to the next one. Here's the next myth. Your jump momentum carries over to the ground momentum. As you guys know, in the settings of Sonic Frontiers, you can now change the momentum. For example, maintain boost during a jump. We're gonna throw that bad boy on. You can even go and change your jump deceleration. You can set the deceleration rate. So this is your ground momentum and this is the jump momentum. Rest assured, there is a lot of uh, physics tweaks and new settings and stuff you can mess around with. I think at this point, it's gonna be pretty hard to find like the definitive controls, especially for speedrunners. I'm sure they're figuring out that meta, but let's put some of these new physics to the test. So we now can maintain a much further momentum when you jump. Look how far you go. This was not in the base game of Sonic Frontiers, that's for sure. So let's see if this newfound momentum with our deceleration turned all the way down, which means we don't decelerate easy. Look at that. I don't have my hands on the controller, but he's still moving. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot more momentum now. So let's give it a shot. We're going forward and let's see if he stopped. And it looks like he didn't go anywhere. All right, ready? Go forward and boom. It looks like he has a straight stop when you uh, finish your air boost jump momentum thing. Look at that. Boom. Even though if you go down a hill or something, look, he's still moving. Look, I'm not touching him. So it looks like it looks like that myth has been proven to be false. Your air momentum does not carry over to your ground momentum, no matter what the settings are. Here's the next myth. You cannot disable the boost sound effect for the music when you're boosting in cyberspace. So we are currently in cyberspace right now. And this is one of the most annoying things about cyberspace. Honestly, one thing that I genuinely hate. And no, it's not the controls. I think they are better than people give them credit for. So if you guys turn on your headphones, like I said, right now, turn on your headphones right now. So if you guys hear the music, right? You listen to it. And then you boost. You see how it's like muffled? All right, ready? Let's try this again. Ready? You see how it's muffled like that? So you can't change that, right? Like it's over. That's where you're wrong. Go into the settings, go into options, press sound, go all the way down here. Cyberspace boost BGM, turn that off. Apply the changes naturally. There's no more muffled boosting sound effects. You see that? Ready? You see that? The music's just playing normal. There's no more boosting sound effects. So you guys heard it. It looks like that myth is false. You can disable the cyberspace boosting sound effects.